Greetings, and welcome to Plaza de Libros, where we bring the Latino community to the world and the world to the Latino community. I'm your host, John Reza. We're on our way. We're going out to Koreatown to visit our friend Ed Colacion at the Yoka Young Oak Kim Academy in Koreatown, Los Angeles. Vamanos. taking a lunch break right now, but I'm here for a book fair. I got a two-day book fair, bringing some books over to the kids, uh, as well as for the parents. Um, Ed Placione invited me to, to do this and uh, had great support from his librarian, Marina Duff, in the wellness all together. But I just wanted to show you uh, the unique situation that Yoka is in here. I, I'm literally standing above the metro. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's probably the train coming in. And... Uh, Brand new school just opened up this year. It's unique in that uh, it's a small learning community um, and it's got a separate boys and girls school. But I'll let Ed elaborate on that for you. But anyways, we're here on the campus, uh, just a stone's throw away from uh, the metro line, which probably the campus is right here and it actually probably sits flat right over it. There's a uh, playground up top. And then right next to us here, we have some retail stores on the bottom, some luxury apartments right here around it. And as we look towards, towards the east, there's the beautiful uh, old Bullets Wilshire building on Wilshire Boulevard, one Wilshire, Vermont. And if you keep going that way, you're running into downtown. But a wonderful setting, and um, I wish that all the best in this new school opening. He has uh, become the new school opener. He's opened up two schools in the last three years, so uh, cheers, hats off to him. Okay, I'm here with uh, Principal Ed Colacion here at Yoka, and uh, we're here doing the book fair, and you can see the kids in the background there, but I uh, just wanted to catch up with Ed and find out what's happening. Ed, how's everything going? Good, good, good afternoon. Um, my name is Ed Colacion. This is Young Oak Kim Academy. We're located in Koreatown on the corner of Vermont and Chateau, Vermont and Wilshire. It's a new middle school that opened up with 800 students. Uh, we have two academies, 400 girls and 400 boys. We're, we're, we're actually single gender instruction, in which boys and girls are separate. We're the first middle school in Los Angeles to open up the single gender academies. We have all boys and, our, and all girls. Our focus instructionally is around science, technology, um, science, technology, science, technology engineering, and mathematics, uh, what we call STEM schools. Um, today, John's here for a book fair in which we promote literacy and reading across the curriculum. Um, we also have a very large collection of STEM books, and so our students um, are learning to use the library not only for books and fiction, but also nonfiction books. I'm a, I'm a big supporter of nonfiction books. And so um, we're here today. We. We are also are focused on project-based learning, which the students are going to, and teachers are being trained in project-based learning, in which is very student-centered, where students solve real-life projects um, in order to engage them in um, learning. Um, we also have a, an advisory program here where boys and girls, their single gender, um, work with um, the teachers, and the teachers act as life coaches and work with the students. In it. We're seeking people in the community to come out and work with us. So this is an invitation to all of you out who are watching this to come visit our school, learn about single gender instruction, learn about research, brain-based research of how boys learn differently and girls learn differently, and how we as in teachers and, and, and learners ourselves are using different instructional strategies that are best with girls and certain instructional strategies are best with boys. We know you teach math and science differently for boys and with girls, as well as history and English. So the whole idea here is to teach them the strengths of our brains, especially our Latino um, students, our boys and our girls. Um, our boys, the, the reason why we're focusing on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics is that um, African American Latino boys and girls do not go into chemistry, physics, math and engineering. Um, those, who are, those are where all the jobs are for the, for the next 50 years. Those are where all the scholarships are for kids to go to college. 
that's where um, we have we do, we do not have Latinos, African Americans going into those careers. So our idea is to turn kids onto math and science, technology, and engineering, and get them hooked into those those professions. So I'm a former science teacher, um, born in Los Angeles, raised in Cyprus, went to Humboldt State University, Bachelor of Science in Environmental Planning, um, graduate school at UC Berkeley. Um, and I've been down here in Los Angeles for six years, worked in San Francisco Unified for 14 years. Um, I'm one of the very few principals, actually, who have a math degree. Um, and John's been working with in identifying uh, culturally relevant books that are very engaging. Um, I'm from the mindset it's important to have kids read about everything, read about books such as um, sex, drugs, immigration, violence. Um, this is part of the kids' life. It's important we we read books, we talk about it, we get it out there so the kids can have a cathartic experience and just kind of move on. Because if we, don't, if we ignore these topics, the kids just hang on to it. In addition, um, I am from, I was former principal of Los Angeles School of Global Studies. Um, my students wrote two books. The first book was Walking Through Walls. The second book, my ninth grade class, wrote a book called Angelinos, which is a book that's um, in English and Spanish, which is all.